Hello everyone, um, I'll start by introducing my name. Okay. Um, I'm in from Ethiopia, so the reason why I use this background is Wikipedia is still a science fiction type of model in Ethiopia. So. <laughs> Challenges, it's more of what you guys already discussed, infrastructure, internet, and one thing that is missing from your uh, challenges, what we have is the Ethiopian anti-terrorism law. So it's something that targets journalists, bloggers, and such kind of uh, law and strict regulation on uh, citizen media, on open source, it have its own effect. So, relate to that fact, uh, just a month ago, after my return from Cape Town as a Wikipedia in residence, I was supposed to activate Ethiopian bloggers. So I created a group, I added some of the bloggers that I know who are residing in Ethiopia, and just after 15 days, um, nine of them were all detained. Uh, and at they have been in prison for 56 days without no charge and they are just ordinary person like me so I received email from Kelsey and Daila uh, to check if I was being followed and I haven't done that and uh, I haven't came across such a terrible and uh, thrilling moment uh, still I'm here so I was expecting something at the airport when I came to here so that is one of the challenges. The other is internet misusage, uh, which means like there is on around 1.84 million Ethiopian Facebook users. So there is uh, a misconception about internet and uh, Facebook. So most of the people, when they go to internet cafe, they ask for, do you have Facebook? Is not it matters the internet is on or not. So uh, they are their exposure to internet first connected to Facebook. So that is one challenge to bring people on board. And so it's all mentioned here. And these are the bloggers who I've been told you about. So you can relate Wikipedia versus WikiLeaks. So if I say um, I work for Wikipedia, given uh, my status as a blogger, the government might immediately click WikiLeaks on their mind. So that is one of the challenges we face in Ethiopia. So just uh, 15 days ago, uh, there was one event that I hosted, the Kumusha Bus, in collaboration with uh, CC Wiki Africa, and it was an event intended to activate communities. Uh, from the Ethiopian Author Association, Music Association, National Museum, Tourism, all major stakeholders. And unfortunately, we sent 40 emails, uh, letters, phone calls, they confirmed it, and almost two people showed up from that uh, 40 people. And when we and at the same time, we have other young, passionate students represented uh, from some organization. And what we were able to identify was that, instead of just pitching Wikimedia or CC at this moment, let's, uh, let's list the challenges and uh, the reason why people are not attending such event. And we identified 16 problems related to that, and we come across an idea, what are the challenges we can tackle, uh, we can tackle and we identified around 10 challenges. So this is Project Louis, we just launched it. So uh, what is Louis? Louis means share in a Mursi tribe, it's one of the tribes in Ethiopia. So we want to use their name because they have more tourist attraction, they are nomads, and it kind of fed all kind of debates related to 
naming project, just linking your workers with anything. So it was one of the safest way for our approach. So what is Louis? Louis is a project that aims to activate five university. In the summer, we are planning to recruit uh, three students from each university. We bring them to Addis Ababa. So the university that we picked, five of them are, uh, they are the big universities for their regional city. So it will help us to branch our project in the long run. So we will select three students. They will be, uh, arrived, they will be attending a, a training for uh, one week up to 10 days. We haven't decided on that. And uh, important of that uh, project is we want them, when they go back to their university, to start up the uh, open, uh, open community they will build up, so we will uh, rate them based on the number of edits, the number of contribution. Uh, that's how we follow. We are planning to fo follow up with them. And as part of the project, we were able to get a uh, different organization. So here is the team. All of them are uh, presented from different organizations. So for instance, we have Isaac, an international student organization presented in 184 countries with 110,000 students. So in Ethiopia, they are presented in three universities. So they will assist us in recruiting students from the, at least from the three universities. And they have good uh, uh, working ethics and understanding in raising funds and they have been working with lots of uh, uh, companies, so that was the benefit. We have uh, Sadla Creative Commons Initiator. Uh, we have different people from different backgrounds. So these are the guys who showed up at our events and they were passionate to come up with the uh, Project Louis. I think that's it. censorship and the links with Wiki, Wikipedia and Wikileaks and uh, detaining of some of your, your editors. How was that sorted out? Are they still detained? Um, uh, what, what's the update then? Yeah, um, they are still detained because of their exposure at international level, like even diplomats attend their court hearing, but it doesn't seem to get sorted out in short, uh, in short span of time, but it's getting much publicity. For instance, one of the guys you see on this side actually met with Secretary John Kerry a year ago, and the moment Secretary John Kerry arrived this year, he was detained, so he personally mentioned his case, and such exposure and publicity matters the most. Uh, 
I want to tell you that the state of freedom on the internet in Ethiopia is quite similar to the, the state of internet in Tunisia uh, uh, before uh, the 2011. It's the same thing. We have bloggers in jail, we have no, uh, we have censorship of uh, Wikipedia, some articles in Wikipedia, we cannot edit them, but we can view the history. And uh, I, I, I want to tell you that uh, I, I'm, I'm supporting your activities and because it's, it's like we have did this before <coughs> and uh, you will do, you will do the same thing in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a, a question about the training. Yeah. Um, did you involve existing active editors from Ethiopia? Um, not actually, because we weren't able to get or to communicate with existing editors. I think there was uh, an effort from Teresa to also list Ethiopian editors and to connect them with us. Uh, but uh, it didn't uh, make, it didn't solidify it. Okay, yeah. I can probably help with that. Let's, okay. Let's connect on that. Okay. Simply express it. They are young. They love internet. They, if space and internet is provided, they have the time and the energy. So that's. Uh, So, 
if you uh, see what is happening, let's say, in the of Egypt, in the of Ethiopia, in of Nigeria, you may have some issues also in, in Kenya, not very much, of course, that basically maybe because of what is happening uh, in that particular country, currently. But of course, uh, what matters more, I think, is more than how the government of your operates and the challenges that are on the ground. I think, I think you are, your comment uh, sums, up, sums up everything, you know, sums up uh, the, the answer to the doubtless. Uh, I'm looking into the African politics and how, how they do Otherwise, 